Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist and this uh, pinning short video I'm going to go over how to pin bees, wasps, and ants. So uh, here are some uh, hymenopterans I collected over this past weekend. Um, we got a couple of wasps right there, actually these are all wasps. Um, we got a couple of velvet ants. Um, a f female velvet ant, which are always flightless. We have a male velvet ant, which are f uh, have wings and do fly. Um, so, the easiest to show on these specimens right here. Best place to pin or the place to pin hymenopterans, bees and wasps actually, is right there. Um, go ahead. See, uh, they have the thorax right there. And you want to pin right through the top in this spot right here. Uh, right through the sputum. Get the pin in there. See it's nice and straight. Push it through. Move the thorax. And then uh Going down. And that's when uh, you would want to position the wings how you want them. Put them out or put and position the legs how you want them. So I would pull the legs in like that and keep the wings on the side like that. So that's how I do my wing time and opterans. Um, simple, straightforward. Sometimes it can be a pain to cooperate. But, um, yes. And I would do the exact same thing on both of these velvet ants as well. Right through the top of the sputum on the thorax. So I have some uh, examples here. See, pinned right through the top of the uh, abdomen right there, or I mean, not the abdomen, on top of the thorax right there. Blades positioned on the side there and the wings right there, so I like how that specimen looks. And that was a bee. And here we have this uh, beautiful uh, cicada killer wasp pinned through the top of the thorax there, wings and legs to the side. And looks really nice. And then we have uh, this cuckoo wasp and pinned same place. So just some uh, examples of some various kinds. Um, and then of course you have uh, pointing for the small specimens. Like this uh, calcited wasp. Beautiful small wasp. I put those on points. And here is a ant. Campanota species. And for ants, you generally always want to point ants. Um, they are uh, granted. There are some really big specimens. Those you can pin without any problems. But for most ants, you always want to point them. Um, their, integ their integuments on the thorax and their body are kind of loose, 
Um, so they're really easy to break and just really don't make the best pinning specimens. So if you collect ants, um, it's always best to point ants. Um, so that's pretty much just a general on uh, pinning hymenopterans. So hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, once again, comment and I'll try to answer. And I'll see you guys next time.